Every Premier League manager reacts match day two. Pep, another winning goal disallowed in stoppage time versus Spurs. What are your thoughts on VAR? I will tell you what I told Sergio Aguero after I subbed him. What a pile of f***ing s***. And when I say f***ing s***, I mean f***ing s***. <laughs> it's totally f***ing pile of crappy f***ing work. Sorry, boss, please. I stop now. I think I get carpal tunnel. Of course, Sergio. Come here and give me a hug. Mess with me again and I'll make sure a carp in your tunnel is the least of your worries. <laughs> Oh, the tears of joy! <laughs> After that phenomenal hat-trick, I told Pookie to pucker up so Delia could give him a big fat snog. He's since put in a transfer request. The performance was brilliant. Great team effort. Exciting attack on football with every player giving 110% for the team. It was great to see. And what about your team's performance? <sighs> Watching the lads today was even more painful than the time I broke me nose in 46 places. How the hell did Danny Ings miss the chance to equalize? He was six yards out. You'll never walk alone. What did I think of Adrian's terrible mistake? It was just like Rocky, yeah! <laughs> um, in what way? In the way that he seemed to be taking part in a competitive sport with brain damage. Boom! <laughs> it's all about the clean sheets. Who cares about scoring lots of goals? But Charleston clearly doesn't. Dickhead. Uh, we have known what issues are since last season. We need to score more goals. And over the summer, uh, we signed Danny Huelbeck. Apparently, we forgot that we need to score more goals. Trussard, what a goal. I have to say, it's wonderful to see a player scoring for Brighton who isn't close to getting his pension. Well, a 5 0 loss to Manchester City, followed by a 1-1 one, one draw with Brighton may seem like a bad start to the season, but, uh, um, well, um, uh, I guess it is. Tom Eaton, what was he thinking giving that penalty away? Ah, that's the sloppiest tackle I've seen since I caught JT in bed with the missus. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Eddie. Eddie who? Not Eddie who, Eddie how? <laughs> Future England manager. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on drugs? Good evening. First success of victories. Had the start of a Premier League campaign since 2009. Uh, with this win, I think I have proven uh, I am the greatest Arsenal manager since Arsene Wenger. Everyone but Burnley are a bunch of diving bastards. That's why we didn't win today. And it's also the reason for any other games we lose this season. Diving must be... Exterminated from the game! Sean, you must be thrilled with that win over Palace. Sean, come on. How thrilled are you with that? It appears for once, you're speechless. I'd love to be able to say we were f***ing crap. Go ahead, we'll bleep it out. No, I meant I would literally love to be able to say it. But my tongue is as useless as Christian Benteke. Hi Melvin, it's Frank. Please tell me you gave the new Derby manager a temporary contract. We should have worn or care. What a shame. Because if we had one by this time next week, I would almost certainly have been the new Chelsea manager. If you're watching this after Wolves Man United, what would Nuno Santor and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer say about their results? Let me know in the comments below and why not watch episode number one which went out last week. Thanks for watching.